Yeah. I'm trying to catch her. See how that goes. awesome I went out and she didn't walk away she just stays here and she even sniffed me I went to the horses and she didn't walk away. She actually came and engaged with me a little bit, which is a difference because she is like, if she sees me or other humans, she just walks away. So, uh, you know, already we see a small change in behavior and she taking the initiative to having contact, which is what I want. difference. Uh, what I did now before catching her was to pet Sonia, my mare, all over and she enjoyed it while I was just ignoring her. So that can sometimes actually be a trick that will make your horse easier to catch is to basically you know ignore a horse I stop. She walks. I walk. Hello. Good girl. She walks. She stops. I stop. Hello. Good girl. And then I just back away a bit. standing still. Now she walks, I walk, she stops, I stop. Yeah, good girl. She walks, I walk, she stops, I stop. Good girl. I might even back away a bit. Sniffs my hand. She walks. I walk. She stops. I stop. She walks. I walk. She stops. I stop. she gets scared and I back away. Yeah, good girl. Now I try 
verken. She's nice and fat. Yes, you are. Good girl. And I go away before she goes away. Yeah, such a nice girl. Uh, when horses uh, talk to each other, they use their body language. Uh, they might come in uh, with a strong posture and move another horse away. Or they might also invite another horse to, for example, mutual uh, scratching by lowering their head and be inviting. And they are always telling each other something with their bodies. They rarely speak uh, with sounds like we do. So that's why it is uh, much easier to talk to horses through body language and posture than it is to talk to horses with words. But I'm not saying that you shouldn't uh, teach your horse uh, sound commands, which, which is great, but you should also teach your horse to respond to your body language.